Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven. In today's video, we are going to be doing a bottle bottom reverse dip pour on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. You heard me. We're doing a big boy. I got all my stuff together, so let's get down to it. In today's video, we are going to be using the bottom of a two liter bottle that I cut notches out of the bottom. I will have a video illustrating how I did this coming up real soon. For our base color today, we are using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white. And I poured quite a bit of paint on here um, because I want to make sure that I get a nice even coverage and I can have enough to, yep, you guessed it, get my sides. All right, let's try and find the center-ish here. And yeah, that's close enough. One of the tricks that I found with doing these fantasy flowers is to put a layer of whatever you're using for your base coat. And we've laid down some lime green some metallic electric blue and of course some dioxazine purple and my custom iridescent white some graphite fluorescent red and quinacridone magenta I'm going to take this napkin and I'm going to place this big old bottle bottom on the napkin. Ta-da! No drops. And now the fancy, most expensive tool in my shed that I got at the Dollar Tree. We're going to draw some lines in here to add contrast and texture. And I thought there needed to be a little bit more color in the middle, so we're going to put some color down and draw it through again. Now, when I'm drawing through, I do go all the way down to the canvas, and then I lift it up just a smidge and pull the color through. So that way I'm not dragging on the canvas, that way I don't damage the canvas, or whatever substrate you're using. You don't necessarily need to use canvas. So now it's time for the plastic and I'm using painter's plastic here because one, they don't make napkins 20 by 20 inch. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know. I don't use napkins for my reverse dips anymore. I found that painter's plastic works better for me. You can use a shopping bag. I like the texture difference that I get in pulling back the plastic. Plus I'm a klutz and I rip things. Um, so napkins and I are not friends. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and pull this up. Make sure you have a garbage can or a place to put this handy. Because there is a lot of paint on this baby. And let me tell you, it is stunning when it pulls up. I love how the colors draw together. Give the turntable a turn and watch it pull up. And there we go. Now I'm going to lay down some extra white to cover the edges. Because I have this on a turntable. So we're going to give it some gentle spins just to make sure that we get it to the edge and we stretch it out. I find spinning it um, gives me a more even tilt. I guess you could say um, and I'm not relying so much on my tilting skills <laughs> I, but I just let kind of let gravity take it where it will and 
it seems to be a, a more even option for me. And I like going all the way to the edge, allowing an edge or two to go over just because I think it adds some drama to the painting. We're just going to tip it a little bit just to get the colors back kind of on center. Then I'm going to go back in with that fancy knitting needle. And we're going to draw some swirly gigs and some wispies and just uh, do some embellishments that I think this flower needs. There is our fantasy flower. You can see all the cool lines and blending. I will post dried results in our community tab. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated for all our edited content, all our community page posts, and all our live streams because that's where all the fun's at. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We will be glad to help you out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you spending time with me. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.